remember that narcissistic self-portraits behind the scenes video I shared a while ago here with the Nanolite Pavotube LED lights. Well, for this review and this new behind the scenes video, I thought that maybe, maybe I would stay behind the camera. Let's go. of my own home and the bad weather that we're having right now plus the luxury of having all my gear nearby was one of the several reasons why I decided to do these tiny home sessions. Tiny home because I have a small apartment and because we're using a really small portion of it as a home studio. We don't have a lot of headroom here. The ceiling is pretty low and we can't use huge light stands, although I did use a huge light stand, which wasn't a great idea. No fancy backdrop here. I'm using a black fabric hanging from a microphone stand. Yes, a microphone stand. I will be using only one lens, the 50 mil on a full frame body. You don't need to know the brand. And of course, instead of flashes, flashes, I will be using continuous lights two Pavotube LED lights, the 30C versions, and on some shots, I also use the Forza 500. For the work that you're about to see, you don't need that much power. Of course, you can use any less powerful lights from the Forza family, for example, the Forza 200. The idea is to make quality portraits, of course, play with colors, and all this at a budget that is fairly low. I'm telling you this because I'm still reading comments of people saying online that you cannot make quality professional images without breaking the bank. Hmm. I know this setup ain't super cheap. Of course, you have to replace the Forza 500 by a less powerful light. But compared to the gear that I usually use, like the Fujifilm GFX 100, all the lenses plus my Broncolor lights and lights modifiers. Well, this setup is way cheaper. And since I've talked about these lights already in the past, I'm not gonna read the manual. I'm not gonna give you all the specs of these lights. But I was interested in the length of these lights. They are 120 centimeters long, have a CRI of 98 and a TLCI of 95, which is great adjustable color temperature from 6500 to 2700 K as well as a full spectrum RGB and pre-programmed special lighting effects that will only be useful for video but more on that later. Most of the videos online, most of the reviews will talk about the power tube LED lights and the Forza 500 on a film set for videography like right now I'm using all these lights for this video. You have the two Pavotube LED lights in the back and up there. And just in front of me, I have the Parabolic 120 by Nan lights and the Forza 500. And yes, I've also used these lights on past video productions and also a few ones that are coming, but we're not gonna talk about this right now. We are going to concentrate on photography. How do they perform? Do the batteries hold up? Are they powerful enough for the type of work that I do? Will I ever use them in future works? Well, let's find out. On this next one, we went a little further, a yellow light in the back, a blue one on the front, two opposite colors always work great together.
then I decided to set my back light again at 2700K and my front light, my front light was set this time at 5600K. Spice things up, I added the Forza 500 with the Fresnel and the barn doors to shape my light. I even added a colored blue gel and we kind of isolated the face and the eyes of my model. You may have recognized Maeva, who I've worked with in the past. She is an ex-gymnast, so I had to make these bendy portraits. With a little help from Photoshop, I did, again, kind of a classic kind of shot that I do in my work these days. I hung my camera from the ceiling and we went back to lighting Maeva with only two Pavo tube LED lights. I recently purchased this little remote. Really useful if you want to operate your different lights from afar. Quickly, if I had to complain right now, there is one thing that I really, really, really miss. It's an app. An app that lets you control all your Nanlite fixtures with your phone, which in 2021 is something that should be, should be right away available. I said right away because apparently there is an app by Nanlite that is coming maybe this year, that is coming soon. Let's hope very, very soon. Let's hope that I will be able to get my hands on it. Fingers crossed. And since this video is mainly about the PavaTube LED lights, the only thing that I will say about the Forza 500 is that I wish it had longer cables because Although I was able to do whatever I wanted here in my studio, on location, it's a totally different story. Plus, we are in 2021 and I love making bicolor portraits. I love using lights that are bicolor. Should I look at the Forza 300B or, you know, please, Nanlite, make a Forza 500B, maybe? The internal batteries on the Pavo tube LED lights lets me shoot anything photography all day. That's, that's pretty awesome. If I need a single source and a more powerful single source, I can pair them and sync them with a single cable. Once the two lights are connected, one of the two will become the master and you will be able to control the whole thing from only one light. I'm using this great accessory by Nanlite to have them side by side 
and mount them on a light stand. You also have barn doors and egg crates or grids if you prefer, like the ones that you put on your regular salt boxes. You know, more control on your bee, more control on your spread is always useful. And when I use them separately, I use these mounts. They're really great because they let me place my lights at any angle I want in seconds. If you are already following me on Instagram, you probably already know my conclusion on these Pabotube LED lights. I love them or else I wouldn't share them in almost all my Instagram stories whenever I use them. They're light, they're easy to use, possibilities are almost endless, they're not that expensive, and of course, they are continuous lights, so you see the results live right away. They work great for my portrait work, and the 30Cs are giving me really a pleasing soft light even without a diffusion. I'm currently working on different effects, different new accessories, mixing continuous lights and flashes in my portrait photography. Portrait photography that I haven't shared a lot here on this channel. So yeah, look out for that. I will also bring all of this stuff with me on location whenever I will be allowed to, so look out for this too. And I will also share my thoughts on the good old debate, flashes versus continuous lights, but this will come in a future video, maybe in two or three weeks. And that's it for today, since this was kind of a mix of a quick review and a behind the scenes video, I decided to post it today instead of last Thursday. If you wanna support this channel, you know what to do. So folks, take care of yourself, and until next time, please have a good one.